Terrell, good morning. Georgia back in the spotlight once again. Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker going head-to-head -head again here, vying for that open Senate seat after a midterm dead heat. Election day again in Georgia, now holding the nation's final Senate race. An extended campaign for incumbent Democrat Raphael Warnock and his Republican challenger Herschel Walker. After neither won 50% of the vote on election day, sending the race to a runoff. The stakes are high and the differences between me and my opponent are too wide for us to sleep. This is about turnout and, and now that means that we got to get in the game. Georgia breaking records with more than 1.8 million voters casting early ballots. The state's top election officials sensing voters are not only energized, but also informed, aware that Georgia's open Senate seat could tip or balance the Senate power scale. I think people understand that 50-50 uh, versus 51-49 is probably a big deal. The Georgia Senate race also shattering spending records with reports Warnock's team spent close to $170 million, more than doubling Walker's roughly $60 million. Political parties spending even more and deploying super surrogates. Former President Trump holding a teller rally for Walker. President Biden touting Warnock's record in an Atlanta radio interview. All the things that Reverend Warnock has supported are things that the people of Georgia care a great deal about. For example, to not have the prescription drug costs go up, actually come down. Walker closing his campaign by painting Warnock as a rubber stamp for Biden while separating himself from Trump and instead siding with popular Georgia Governor Brian Kemp. And now it's all in the hands of voters. Early voting so far appears to advantage Democrats, but high turnout from Republicans today could cut into that lead.